By reading this way, I managed to learn lectures of 3 or 4 hours in 1 hour and 30 minutes. Hi guys, Alex here. So anyone who went through uni knows the slog we feel when we have to learn from that textbook. Sometimes you even get confused after 10 minutes of reading, like what was I reading before? Being proficient in the academic life consists of two important learning strategies. Reading, or more formally known as encoding information, and testing yourself, more formally known as retrieval. In this video, I want to provide you with the reading tools to ace any exam throughout your uni life. I use these tools to not only get hours of lectures in less time, but also to get maximal results, being above the 90th percentile in my studies. The way to read efficiently is to have a structured reading. The best approach is to have three readings in a sequential manner. The first reading is a global reading, the second one is an analytic reading, and lastly, the third one focuses only on keywords. During the global reading phase, the objective is to build a global understanding of the subject. If you have a PowerPoint presentation or Word, skim through the titles and headings. After every title or heading, ask yourself what is the information that you know about the subject. This brief pause will prime your brain to be more sensitive to the new information. This will help you to grapple the new information faster. Moreover, it will allow you to compare and contrast the old information you had on the subject with the new information that's coming in. After this step, start reading the material to create a global understanding of each reading. If you read a textbook, pay attention to the first sentence. Usually the entire paragraph is related in some manner with the first sentence. The second phase is the analytic reading. It involves a more detailed reading. This is the opportunity to add the fine details to your global mental model made before. During this process, I marked the number of arguments used to sustain the main premise announced at the beginning of the paragraph. The role of this behavior is to facilitate retrieval. For example, by numbering the elements of the Beck's triad, I knew that on retrieval I have to come up with three signs. Another technique to use during the analytic reading is to establish relationships between ideas. Start with the main idea, relate it to the others in the paragraph. When retrieving one idea, the interconnected network of ideas will fall into place. Lastly, the keywords are underlined. In order to identify keywords, look for repetitive words in the lecture notes or even by the lecturer. Sometimes the author bolds or italicizes the keywords in textbooks. The last reading is more of a skimming. You will just skim the keywords in order to repeat the mental model you built before. This process will take even seconds. Thus, every time you recall the information, the keywords will be enough for the retrieval. During the recall phase, your focus will be on the keywords. By retrieving the main ideas, you retrieve the entire interconnected network of ideas sustaining your main idea. If you liked this video, please subscribe. Also, let me know what other subjects you'd like to be tackled to ease the uni life.